A quick disclaimer this video is for education, not exploitation. Hacking and unauthorized tracking are illegal and carry severe penalties. Our goal is to help you understand threats and defend yourself. This isn't a how-to for hackers, it's a what to watch for for everyone else. The techniques discussed require specialized skills and equipment. Think of this as learning how burglars operate so you can better lock your doors. Knowing how tracking works helps you make smarter security choices. Use this knowledge to protect your privacy, not invade others. Build stronger digital walls, don't break them down. Many people believe that if they avoid installing suspicious apps or clicking on strange links, their phone will remain untraceable and their privacy will be protected. It's a comforting thought. Just be careful and you'll stay off the radar. But that's a myth. In reality, your phone is a tracking device by design, not by accident. Even if you never install a single app, your phone is still constantly revealing your location. For your phone to work, to make calls, send texts, or access the internet, it must constantly communicate with the network, telling it exactly where you are. This isn't a flaw or a bug, it's the fundamental way mobile networks operate. Without this constant location sharing, you wouldn't receive calls or data at all. Every time your phone connects to a cell tower, the network logs which tower you're using, creating a detailed record of your movements over time, often down to a few hundred meters. Law enforcement agencies can access this data with a warrant, tracing your past locations and movements. Meanwhile, hackers and cyber criminals are constantly searching for ways to exploit this information directly, sometimes without your knowledge. The Global Mobile Standard GSM, assigns every phone unique identifiers like IMSI and TMSI, which are used to track and authenticate devices on the network. These identifiers can be targeted by hackers or surveillance tools to track your phone's location, even if you think you're being careful. The truth is, tracking doesn't require any new software or malware on your phone. It takes advantage of the systems and protocols that are already built in and running all the time. Hackers and attackers focus on weaknesses in the mobile network infrastructure itself, not just your individual device, making it even harder to defend against. By tricking the network, they can send a digital request asking, where is this phone right now? And the system will often provide an answer, sometimes without you ever knowing. Ironically, the very thing that makes your phone so useful, its ability to connect you anywhere, is also its greatest vulnerability when it comes to privacy. So the myth of the untraceable phone is just that, a myth. No matter how careful you are, your phone's core function means it can always be tracked. When it comes to tracking, the most powerful techniques don't even need to touch your phone. Instead, they go after something much bigger, the network itself. This is where the real power lies, hidden in the infrastructure that connects us all. Enter SS7, a little-known but critical protocol that acts as the global switchboard for phone companies. It's the invisible backbone that allows billions of devices to communicate seamlessly across continents. SS7 enables carriers worldwide to connect calls, deliver texts, and handle billing, making sure your messages and calls reach their destination, no matter where you are. But here's the catch. SS7 was designed back in the 1970s in an era when trust was the foundation, not security. Back then, no one imagined today's global threats. Now hundreds of companies and organizations have access to SS7, and unfortunately not all of them are secure or trustworthy. This creates a massive attack surface. Hackers who manage to gain access to SS7 can quietly query the network, asking it for your phone's location, without you ever knowing. The network responds automatically, revealing which cell tower your phone is connected to. This can pinpoint your location to within just a few meters, tracking your movements in real time. But it doesn't stop there. SS7 can also be exploited to intercept your phone calls and text messages including those all-important two-factor authentication codes meant to keep you safe. This isn't just a theoretical risk. Security researchers and cyber criminals alike have been exploiting these vulnerabilities for years, often with devastating consequences for privacy. The scariest part? There's nothing you can do to defend against SS7 attacks. They happen entirely on the network, far beyond your device or your control. Your phone will look and act completely normal. You won't see any warning signs, pop-ups, or strange behavior. The surveillance is silent and invisible. The only real solution is for telecom companies to upgrade their systems and patch these decades-old vulnerabilities, a process that's slow, expensive, and still ongoing in many parts of the world. SS7 remains a silent, invisible threat woven deep into the fabric of the world's phone networks.
It's a vulnerability that affects billions, whether they realize it or not. The very trust that connects us, allowing us to communicate instantly across the globe, also exposes us to risks we can't see or control. Until networks are fully modernized and secured, this vulnerability will remain quietly lurking in the background of our connected lives. Another method is the fake cell tower, an IMSI catcher, or Stingray. It's a device that pretends to be a real cell tower, luring your phone to connect. Once connected, the attacker can capture your unique identifiers and track your location in real time. IMSI catchers were once law enforcement tools, but now criminals can build or buy them. They can be hidden in cars, backpacks, or drones, deployed anywhere. Your phone acts normally, showing signal bars and working as usual. Most people never notice anything is wrong. Some apps claim to detect IMSI catchers, but their effectiveness is limited. The attack is nearly invisible to the average user. A fake tower could be tracking you right now and you'd never know. Cellular isn't the only risk. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth also expose you. When Wi-Fi is on, your phone sends out probe requests with its unique MAC address. Anyone with a simple tool can collect these addresses in public places. Over time, this data builds a profile of your movements. Bluetooth works similarly, broadcasting a unique hardware address. Modern phones try to randomize these addresses, but it's not foolproof. Attackers can still track you passively just by listening. You don't need to connect to anything. Just having Wi-Fi or Bluetooth on is enough. Companies use this for marketing. Attackers use it for surveillance. The best defense turn off Wi-Fi and Bluetooth when not in use. Fewer signals mean fewer breadcrumbs to follow. Your digital scent fades when you control your connections. The most alarming attack is the zero-click exploit. No clicks, no downloads. Just a silent, invisible hack. Attackers send malicious data that exploits hidden bugs, giving them full control. They can activate your mic, camera, read messages, and track your location. These exploits are rare, expensive, and usually used by governments. Your best defense install security updates immediately. Even the most secure phone can be compromised if you fall behind. While some threats are out of your hands, you can still make your phone harder to track. Keep your operating system and apps updated. Patches close security holes. Turn off Wi-Fi and Bluetooth when not in use to reduce your digital footprint. Avoid connecting to unknown public Wi-Fi. Use a VPN if you must. Review app permissions. Deny access to location and contacts unless absolutely necessary. Use encrypted messaging apps like Signal for sensitive conversations. Be skeptical of unsolicited messages and links. Social engineering is still a top attack vector. Layer your defenses, updates, cautious connections, and smart app choices. Security is about reducing risk, not eliminating it. Every step you take makes you a harder target. Stay alert, stay updated, and stay private. Your vigilance is your best defense. Cybersecurity is a never-ending arms race. New defenses spark new attacks. What's safe today may not be tomorrow. 5G brings new protections, but also new vulnerabilities. Stay informed. Follow tech news and security alerts. The more devices you connect, the more ways you can be tracked. The Internet of Things multiplies your digital footprint. Demand better security from device makers. Protecting your phone is just the start. Your car, watch, and home are next. Digital privacy requires vigilance and adaptation. The risks are real, but so are the rewards of smart, secure habits. Stay informed, stay prepared, and you'll stay ahead.